We are here at the, the boat Düsseldorf in uh, January 2020 and we are very uh, uh, delighted to uh, be able to introduce you to our new Dragonfly 40, which is, has just been completed for, for the boat show for its world premiere. Uh, 12.14 meters long to the from the back to the actual bow, but the bow also uh, lines up with the float. So the float is uh, longer, it's actually longer than the central hull to give you more diagonal safety. And also, again, we have introduced these uh, wave piercing floats to give more uh, dynamic lift and uh, a more powerful uh, performance. Again, to be able to uh, control the boat also short handed. We have a very powerful uh, side power, 100 kilo uh, bar thrusters to, uh, to control the boat. Um, even though it's 40 feet, uh, the grab, as you see here, is only uh, 70 centimeters with the, with the board up, so it can actually actually dry out or reach the boat. The engine is all the way in the back, so uh, the propeller is up higher than the actual uh, belly of the boat. Uh, and with the board down, we are talking about uh, a draft of 2.3 meters, which does mean that you only have to respect that. You can also take the board halfway down if you're in an area with, uh, with uh, shallow waters. Uh, so, so don't worry about that. Very, very strong uh, design of the wing, water stays, uh, all vacuum infused. Uh, so we have, uh, we feel secure. We have a very, very strong sturdy boat here. The Bradfly 40 we designed in a, in a different way with a, with a fixed bow spread so we don't have any, any lines. Uh, with a combined uh, angle fitting with windlass inside which takes both uh, rope and chain. On top here you can uh, set uh, the cost zero. In the front we have uh, an eye for the tack line for the, uh, for the Jennifer. And as a, as a new feature we have a bow ladder here. So uh, that goes down when you uh, get to a floating dock. This can be pulled out from the inside here and give it a shot. So we... Now it's all gone. Very clean, so we uh, have made a, a new design with a very sleek uh, central plexiglass system where we have four open of our hatches. Uh, uh, all, all flush. Again, uh, all the lines from the from mat below this uh, deck part, deck section here. So all the lines go back, all the way back to the winches below deck, but still uh, accessible. Um, uh, not least uh, in the front with a with a clean foredeck, no lines to interfere. So uh, tack line and. Uh, Fuller line is, is below deck here. Uh, optional, as we have here, we have an uh, electric uh, uh, um, headset furler from uh, from Fagno with uh, with engine below deck. So very very convenient for for uh, single-handed or short-handed sailing. The very very big floats with tons of storage for extra sails, for extra flying sails, folding bikes, supports even a kayak so uh, you can pull this out go go paddling when you're at anchor somewhere in a, in, a, in a great bay and you can just push it in and, uh, and store it uh, in the back of float here we have the the uh, bathing ladder so uh, even if you fall overboard uh, from the water you it's easy to to open and uh, uh, accessible and now it's uh, well hidden In the forward wee berth, we have a nice uh, double cabin where you can where you can stand up and close the doors here and uh, undress yourself. There are, there are two nice uh, cabinets, one with a hanging locker and shelves, uh, and you can also combine these two lockers for uh, clothing for for the forward cabin. Lots of lights uh, with the big skylight and screens, and new we have a nice window here so you can also look forward and in the whole sides we have these great nice 
window, so you can also follow what's happening outside. Um, the new 40 we designed for the first time in our history with uh, two separate cabins. So again, we had the 4V berth where you can close the door for privacy and the big uh, owner's cabin in the back. But if you need more uh, sleeping accommodation, you can also uh, use the um, the uh, sofa uh, uh, the net uh, system we have here. So uh, the seat here can be uh, pulled out, the temple comes up, the seat can be pulled out and the cushion here fits exactly in in between here. So you fold the seat out, put uh, this uh, cushion here and the same here. So you have a double or very big single. This is a fantastic bunk while you're on the way if you are as a while you're sailing as a as a watch bunk and uh, the same goes for the other side uh, where you can uh, use this as a, as a single bunk also while you're on the way uh, active sailing so these are, are very central and, and, and nice to, to use at the dinette table here uh, the sofa is a bit high because of the whole shape here we have the, uh, the narrow water line and when you sit here it uh, might be a bit uh, uncomfortable but we also want the uh, full standing headroom so when you sit here in the evening with family and friends you just lower this board here which is a footrest so now you can sit comfortable here six to eight persons and have a great evening all under uh, all around all under the uh, floorboards you will find storage so we have designed the boat with a with a composite inliner so on the floorboards you have all this space all uh, everywhere we have used these um, very lightweight uh, foam laminate uh, panels to give lightweight and easy to easy to handle so it's just just like this. Very convenient for, especially if you are long distance sailing, you have extra storage. Coming down the companion way, you get into the central of the boat with the uh, kitchen area, and I would call this uh, a combined, uh, let's say, a nerf station, chart table, uh, worktop space. So people have different uh, uh, opinions of this. So. If you focus here, we have the uh, the uh, control panels, uh, main switch with a remote uh, main switch. We have a Philippi nice uh, digital display to uh, to to explain the uh, the state of the electric system, uh, fuel tanks, uh, how much power you have left, uh, and so forth. Here we have a heating control. This is optional, but basically uh, this is the control panel and. Here, uh, optional, we have uh, VHF, can be different uh, uh, systems. We have a small, um, we have a small uh, GPS uh, display, so you can follow down here, you can make your routes and uh, audio system. Some uh, cabinets here for, also for pots and pans for, for, the, uh, for the galley. Um, Going to the galley area, on this uh, first hull number one, uh, we have uh, made the decision to, to, uh, to try and test with the induction. So we only have uh, electric stove, uh, induction, uh, and we have uh, ambulance batteries on board with an inverter. So of course, when you have shore power, you have <laughs> no problems. Uh, but also while you're sailing, you, you should be able to use this. But I. <laughs> We haven't tested it, but, but in a few months I'll let you know if we can have a nice dinner here. We expect so. Uh, on the engine we have a big uh, alternator, so we are, we are sure we have enough uh, power for this. Combined with a, a combination of a, a microwave and a oven, also electric. Again, standard is uh, a gas stove and optional um, is actually uh, a gas oven. But um, this is very nice and easy. So for those who don't want to have gas, propane on board, this is a nice uh, alternative. Um, when you get offshore, uh, when it gets a bit lumpy, again, this is a, a tram line with 8.4 meters uh, beam. So we are not rolling around like this, but uh, for the induction stove, we have a neat system here with a silicone 
uh, base here so the uh, the the induction uh, still works via this magnet here you can still control and when I push uh, my hands a little here and I back and forth it's very it's very stable again it still needs the the the, the real test we have the uh, the uh, double sync system if you want less uh, if, or if you want a more um, workspace we can also make it as a, as a single under the workshop here we have uh, the fridge uh, with an opening door so it's an 85 liter uh, fridge with a small uh, ice, uh, with small ice box for ice cubes or, or or meat whatever so this is nice here we have the uh, the F cabin which is I would say for a tram run very unusual uh, and I would call this the the master cabin owner's cabin uh, where I can get in you can close the door with skylight full absolutely full standing headroom um, a nice uh, small uh, seat so you can undress um, nice ventilation again with a skylight combined with this uh, escape hatch but uh, only open it when you're in, at anchor or in the marina <laughs> to rem remember to close it we have put a sign here um, so also here we have made a very uh, interesting design for the uh, for the locker, so we have a hanging locker here with some shelves and some circuit breakers for the engine uh, and the bypass system to uh, to operate the engine. Um, nice uh, big double bunk and uh, it's really nice. So you can sit up here and uh, and read a book. Um, lots of smaller uh, cabinets behind me here. Uh, also cabinet uh, behind uh, behind the stairs uh, audio system optional if you if you like uh, but actually very very cozy yeah in the drive 40 it's uh, new for us to have a nice enclosed uh, head so when you come down the companion way uh, we have a nice enclosed head with a uh, marine toilet of course with holding tank 75 liters on this boat we install an uh, electric optional toilet uh, shower in the top with a uh, with a skylight and uh, the water when you shower the the water just uh, drains down under under the floorboards uh, comes gets uh, gets pumped out and we have a nice Korean um, wash basin in a, in a nice nice Danish design The new Drive 540 cockpit is uh, very big, long, spacious, and again we uh, we designed with no lines, so it's very comfortable for uh, for the crew, family, and friends. No lines, no spec in the front. All the lines go back in the back of the cockpit, so uh, all the hands control lines starts here. Here's these three here with long uh, with long seats. We have here four electric winches comes. Stand out to operate all sails, main, uh, main sheet and uh, uh, boomerang system, uh, head sail, halyards here. Uh, so, even from the wheel steering, you can control the winches and vice versa. The crew can also uh, control the lines here. One, uh, one bigger copy locker on the stop side. Both sides is closed because of the yes, the F cabin. Um, because we have high loads on the main sheet, we have a six to one purchase before we go to the to the electric uh, to the electric winches. And the main sheet goes down under the top floor to each side, so the skipper or helmsman can control the main sheet both from this side and this side. Carbon wheels are are optional. Uh, lockers here for propane, uh, uh, comfortable seats here, some standard, and we have the uh, the big uh, engine hatch here, so the engine is all the way back in the boat, uh, uh, divided from the uh, from the interior, so you don't have any any smell fumes or any less noise in the 
left in the uh, cabin area. We have the access to the engine, very spacious engine compartment with easy access uh, to service and or uh, to install extra gear. Normally it comes with a 40 horsepower. This is a 80 horsepower Yanmar, weighs only 40 kilos more and gives you uh, a cruising speed by engine by nine knots and the top speed we expect between 11 and 12 knots. We have this um, twin wheel system which gives you a nice passage in the, in the center of the boat. Um, you can sit here, in the boat, a little way of course. Uh, big, uh, big screens if you like, but all, all the ele electronic is, uh, is, is individual. On both sides of the cockpit floor we have made these uh, Fender and walk lockers, uh, as a more lines uh, lockers because uh, it's uh, yeah otherwise <laughs> hard to uh, hide these. In the same time, when we designed this uh, this uh, locker lid, so you can race a little bit. Not <laughs> we don't have the problem like a monohull, but if you're sailing uh, fast in uh, strong winds over many 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 hours, it's nice to, to have a, a little bit of footrest. And also, if you are you're standing for uh, for longer time. Also with a nice uh, F rail here to feel, to feel secure, with some uh, buffer here so you sit comfortable. And again, under the big hatch we we have the uh, the easy accessible engine. Not least, we now it's all open as you see here, but we also have. Here, uh, an optional folding, uh, folding platform, which also allow uh, that uh, it's of course known that our boats, when they fold in, the floats go uh, even further back. But with the with the folding platform, we um, we it's also easier with a uh, uh, with a gangway to uh, to more backwards as as many do in the in southern Europe. Here on the port side, um, helm steering uh, control, we have all the panels for actually uh, man maneuvering the boat. So we have here the, uh, uh, the engine control, uh, the electric panel for, for engine easy accessible here. Uh, optional for the electric uh, uh, burning system on the head cell. We have here uh, control for the, for the two electric winches here. Not least, also control panel here for the for the bow thruster. So at the same uh, position, you you can easily uh, maneuver the boat. Thank you for joining us on this uh, let's say presentation of the uh, of the Plan 540. Uh, the plan is now to to get the boat ready for for sailing. So uh, beginning April, we will launch the boat. We need some some weeks to, to fine tune everything and uh, during May we will uh, stay tuned again and uh, let you know how it's on the water. Thank you.